Coming up on the Muskie Daily, a Columbus Museum makes its way to New Concord to teach kids about science. Students have the chance to sample local wine while learning to handle alcohol professionally. Exhibit at Muskingum University open today. Hello all and thanks for joining us on the Muskie Daily. I'm Andrew Dunlap. And I'm Anna Kramick. We begin with an issue bringing, the, bringing great debate on Ohio's November ballot. Ohio is presenting a bill at the next election that will legalize marijuana to anyone who is 21 and older. The bill is known as Issue 3 and it will also offer the option for anyone who wants to obtain a, mar a medical marijuana card to be able to do so. This particular anti-monopoly measure is a bad one as from the way it's written, although the general principle of avoiding monopolies is a good one, unless you, unless you can argue that there's some public necessity to a monopoly. Student Appreciation Day took place in New Concord on October 3rd. Local businesses could be found giving discounts to students at Muskingum University. The stores participating in Student Appreciation Day could be seen with, with black signs displayed on, in the doorways that indicated they were giving discounts to all students. Student Appreciation Day is a way for Muskingum University students to better connect with the Mus New Concord community. Things that we know is huge about Muskingum for people is that it's a small school and most people pick it because of that. And they like the fact that there are people know each other and it's easy to get to uh, meet new people, it's a friendly environment, musky hello, all that stuff. Well, we also have a community that's like that. And so for a number of us, as we're thinking about ways to enrich both the experience of students, if they're in a community that kind of reflects the campus environment, they're going to feel more at home and it's going to make their experience better. New Concord children build roller coasters and see gravity in action. COSI on Wheels visited the New Concord Branch Library last Tuesday evening. The presentation focused on learning words such as gravity, friction, centripetal force, and kinetic and potential energy. The two 45-minute sessions included a hands-on activity of constructing mini roller coasters using phone pipes and tape. They were also allowed to use the chairs and tables in the room. Each group of children tested their tracks with marbles. The only requirements of the track were to include a hill, loop, and the marble had to travel through both. Students had the opportunity last Friday to sample alcohol in a professional setting. Orbit Media News correspondent Aaron Eno has more on what else the students did in the annual student life event, Nibbles and Sips. On October 3rd, students of the age of 21 and over were invited to a professional wine tasting event at the Terracotta Vineyard outside of New Concord. The event, Nibbles and Sips, is an opportunity for students to network and socialize with fellow Muskies, as well as alumni, faculty, and staff. Jackie Vascura, the Director of Career Services, remarks on how well the event is received. It's always a popular event, and I feel like the students really enjoy it and learn a lot from it. It's an opportunity for them to kind of grow and learn to be that professional, even if alcohol is present. Aside from the social aspects, students do get to try various wines paired with specific foods. All the food at the event was prepared by Jessica Edge, the coordinator of student involvement. However, she says that in the end, it is still just a matter of taste. What you like with wine is, is what you eat with wine. If, if you like Oreo cookies with your wine, Oreo it up. Like, it's all about your own taste. Around 50 students went to the event. Nibbles and Sips is organized by Alcohol Awareness Programming, which is part of Student Affairs. For Orbit Media News, I'm Aaron Eno. Coming up after the break, we'll take a look at our candidates for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And later on, we'll see why the subscription fee on, of Netflix is rising. We have the music. We have the cameras. We have the talent. Orbit Media, where the magic happens. On the story. 
on the quad, on the scene. This is the Muskie Daily. Many familiar names are on this year's list of nominees for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Singer Janet Jackson is nominated for the first time. This comes after she recently released her first album in seven years. Other first-time nominees include Steve Miller, The Cars, Chicago, Chaka Khan, and Cheap Trick. Rap icons N.W.A. are also on this year's ballot, along with Deep Purple and Yes. Fans can cast their ballots by visiting the Hall of Fame's website or rollingstone.com. The class of 2016 will be announced in December, with induction ceremonies in scheduled for April. It's not a dislike button, but Facebook is testing new ways to express emotions beyond like. Facebook is rolling out reactions in Spain and Ireland. They are new buttons that Facebook says express a broader range of emotions. They include love, wow, and yay, as well as happy and sad faces. A Facebook official says that the new buttons could become available to U.S. users in a couple of weeks. It's going to start costing a little more to use Netflix. The streaming TV service says it is raising the cost of its standard plan from $8.99 a month to $9.99. The standard plan allows customers wa to watch programming on two devices at the same time. The price hic affects new customers in the U.S., Canada, and Latin America. Current subscribers won't see their bill go up until next year. Netflix says it's raising the price so it can add more TV shows and movies to its service. Peter Pan gets a live-action remake, and the subject of an Oscar-winning documentary is fictionalized. Jeremy Roth takes a look at what's now showing in theaters this week. Twelve-year-old orphan Peter is whisked away to Neverland in this live-action prequel to the Disney classic. Peter joins forces with Tiger Lily and the future Captain Hook to take on the pirate Blackbeard. Pan is rated PG. The Walk tells the story of Philippe Petit's legendary journey. Petit recruits a team of people to help him accomplish the feat and realize his dream. The Walk is rated PG. Ave Maria Mulligan has spent her entire life in Big Stone Gap, Virginia. When she discovers long-buried family secrets, she sets out to change her view of the world and carve a new space for herself. Big Stone Gap is rated PG-13. For Now Showing, I'm Jeremy Roth. Coming up after the break is Andrew with a look at the weather. And after that, I still will be with you for our Muskingham Cup Sports Update. This is Will Mullins, and I want to encourage you to watch Chapel on Orbit TV Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at 5 p.m. and 10 p.m. Thanks. Welcome back. Let's take a look at your weather forecast. For tonight, looks to be mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and a chilly with a low of 61. Tomorrow will most likely bring showers with a high of 70 degrees. Tomorrow night, we'll have 40% chance of showers and a low of 45. Now here's a look at your extended forecast.
The Muskie Volleyball team continued their hot streak on Tuesday by defeating Capital in straight sets at home in the rec center. Taylor Fathery led the Muskie attack with, uh, on the night with 14 kills, while Deirdre Prince aided the defense with 25 digs. The Muskies now stand at 14 and 6 on the year and have won 9 of the last 11 matches to climb up the OAC standings. The Muskies will be back in action on Saturday as they try to move up higher in the standings in a try match with Heidelberg and Kate Case Western. The first match against Heidelberg is slated for 1 o'clock. The cross country teams are gearing up for the OAC championship meet that will be held on October 31st. The teams had their second to last tune up on October 2nd when they competed at the All Ohio Championships at Cedarville. Head coach Jacob Gleason saw a lot of good things from the team at the meet despite not finishing highly in the team standings. Uh, I thought we had a pretty good performance. Um, um, it was a, a, a tough, tough day for us, you know, in the team standings, but I think we had some pretty good uh, individual performances. The Muskies will continue to work toward a high finish in the OAC championships and hope to put as many runners through the NCAA regionals at no on November 14th. We're going to take another quick break and we'll, and we'll be right back. We have the music. We have the cameras. We have the talent. Orbit Media, where the magic happens. On the story. On the quad. On the scene. This is the Muskie Daily. The Louis O. Palmer Art Gallery held a brand new exhibition today. The exhibition is a joint exhibition titled Experiencing Art Around Ohio, Photography and Crafts by Aaron Franz and David Yoakum. The joint product had 2D and 3D aspects to it. Aaron Franz said the 3D side of it by combining a bunch of objects given to her in person. David Yoakum created the 2D side of it with photography and also combining different digital ideas together. The exhibition runs until October 29th. The new Concord Police Department is encouraging women who are interested in learning how to defend themselves by offering a self-defense class. It is open to all ages, but with limited available spots. It will be held on October 15th at New Concord Elementary School Gymnasium. Now, from 6 to 8, the first 40 will register to register to get a free t-shirt. The Fall Festival is back this Saturday. From 10 to 2, various businesses in the, in the county will be holding various events, including scarecrow construction, decorating pumpkins, and making slime. Be sure to check out the details, the deals at local stores. Muskingum Small Group Communication Class is holding fundraisers on campus. One group is collecting pillowcases for little dresses for, for Africa. Their donation box is located in the BOC. Another communication class group is asking students to donate leashes and dog bowls for the Muskingum County Dog Pound. People willing to donate can email Connor Hahn at chan at muskingum.edu. That is all the time we have here on the Muskie Daily. Be sure to visit orbitmediaonline.com to be in the know of all your local sports and news. If you haven't already, be sure to keep up to date with us on our many social media platforms. Have a good night, New Concord.